Bryce, so what about that uh, out-of-bounds call that they reviewed there in the last couple of seconds? Uh, it looked really close uh, as far as whether the hand got on the ball. What do you think? I personally thought I didn't touch it, but I guess just the direction of the ball was just different. I don't know. I personally didn't have the energy to <laughs> get the ball. So, As far as defensively, uh, what was the plan on that last play there? Obviously, you probably didn't expect them to, to drive the basket to the basket there. Oh, I know. Just running them off the three-point line. We knew a two was better than three in that situation and just – especially Sarah Beth run her off the line. She shot very well today and just rebound the ball at the end as well. You had two there in the first half, just able to turn it on there in the third and fourth, just uh, what kind of clicked for you? Uh, I think just being more aggressive. I know Ellie and others stepped up the first half and just knowing that me personally scoring and my defense gets the team going. So I just needed to be more aggressive and just let it fly. What makes Grace Berg such a hard guard? I mean, 12 of 14 tonight, uh, 25 points. Uh, she seems to be a newcomer of the year favorite. Just what makes her so difficult and what can you do differently tomorrow? Oh, yeah, she's just a hard worker overall. She's going to do the little things, gets great positioning, whether that's on the perimeter or in the post, and just very efficient with um, her quick scoring and just her ability to just take over the game. Bryce, what's it mean? I guess it's four in a row for you guys over the over Drake. Oh, it means a lot just knowing that they've been on top previous years and just knowing that we're on top as well and just sending a message to the Valley that we're still here. You guys forced them into 22 turnovers. They shot 60% and were pretty good from the field, but still being able to force turnovers and you guys only had one in the second half. Just uh, that seemed to be an emphasis there. Oh yeah, we definitely had a sloppy first half and just knowing that we need to be in control of the pace and the flow of the game and just specifically defensive wise, we knew we could pressure them and make them get off the three, the three point line and just put them in uncomfortable situations. Bryce, you all have uh, four players in double figures and nearly had five. Uh, Emily put in eight points. Just talk about the, what a balanced attack your team has. Well, like Ellie said, the first half we had multiple people step up. Even the bench players have a crucial role for this team. We all know that anyone could be the leading scorer any night. And just knowing that if we have three to four players averaging eight points, it's going to be a good night for us. All right, Bryce, great job tonight. And congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thanks, Bryce. Bryce. All right, Coach Mox uh, is joining us now. Coach, uh, we'll let you get off mute real quick when, as you get settled in. And a uh, tremendous win tonight, your team uh, with a season high 14 steals and you forced 22 turnovers. That was obviously the thing that kept you in the game late, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we're never going to be down after a lot. I mean, after a win. Uh, you know, wins are hard to come by, especially against great teams like Drake. So I'm just, I'm proud of us that we were able to find a way to win this game. Drake, Drake gave us their best shot. Um, you know, they came with a lot of energy, aggression. Um, they hit shots, you know, they hit shots and they shot 60% in our gym. So obviously that's not acceptable. We have to go back and tweak a few things, but, um, you know, I was just happy that we prevailed at the end. Even that positivity. I mean, we didn't, we didn't really know what to expect from the girls when they got on because I mean, uh, outscored by 10 in the fourth quarter and uh, being able to squeak it there. Just uh, how important is it to just kind of keep that positivity going into tomorrow? It's very important. I mean, we're in the locker room with a win at the end of the day. So yeah, did we play our best? We didn't play our best. We didn't play our best. I mean, that's very obvious. Um, we can do things better on both ends of the floor. We need more people to step up. Um, but at the end of the day, we won the ball game. So, you know, we're going to be positive about that. You know, there's a lot of people that are losing games. Wins are hard to come by. Um, Drake's a great team. You know, they got players that are tough. They got players that can hit shots. You know, they run a hard system to guard. So um, for us to be able to weather that storm, I'm just, I'm just proud of us. Coach, just talk about the uh, sequence of events there at the end. Obviously, that ended up being a lot closer than you would have preferred. It did. It did. They hit, sh hit shots down the stretch, and we didn't, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, we, we did enough to get us over the hump. But 
Um, we just got to be better finishing layups. We got to be better uh, recognizing where the defense is taking certain things away and just, you know, making the extra pass and reading a little bit better. And we did it in spurts. You know, there's sometimes our offense look really good. There's sometimes we look stagnant against the zone. Um, they're switching it up a little bit more than they do or they have in the past with zone and man. So, you know, our mental transitions need to be a little bit faster. But um, there at the end, that's kind of what happened. You know, they were switching up their defense a little bit. Um, kids were hitting shots on their end. So we didn't really want, that's not how we wanted it to go. But at the end of the day, we got enough stops to get us over the hump. Um, that last second play, we just did not want to give up a three. I didn't think we, she should have got that shot off. We kind of blew up that switch right there. But um, at the end of the day, it wasn't a three, it was a two. The officials uh, spent a lot of time reviewing that out of bounds play and uh, you know, ultimately decided that, that Bryce had somehow deflected that. But it was, I, I saw the replay a million times and it was so close, but uh, you know, does that, are you glad that they're that they take so much time to make sure that they try to get a call right there at the end? Yeah, I mean that's their job. Obviously, we respect them for what they do. Uh, you know, our job is just to be ready for whatever the decision is. So we had a plan. If it was our ball, we had a plan. If it was their ball, but um, it, it's good that they took their time to just make sure and they made the best call they could, and we just adjusted to that. Coach, what can you say about, uh, speaking of Bryce, just her second half in there, the third and fourth quarter, she really, uh, you know, put the ball in the hole. Bryce, I mean, she's just stepping up, and that's what seniors do. I'm really proud of how she's playing. She's been very consistent, and given the circumstances of all the, you know, ups and downs of the season, the quarantining, things like that, she really hasn't missed a beat, and she's just laser focused. So I'm very proud of her. She stepped up big in this game. She hit a lot of threes. She got to the rim. Um, she set people up. She just had a confidence about her and toughness about her that helps our team go. And, and I think we just got on her back and she was able to will us to win. Specifically, Grace Berg, uh, 12 of 14, 25 points. You knew she was good, but uh, I, I imagine you want to be able to clamp down a little more on her tomorrow. Of course, um, she played great. She played great. She uh, didn't even, I think she missed, like you said, two shots. Um, she's a, I mean, she's a great player. The biggest thing is that kid is tough. You know, she's mentally tough. She's physically tough. She doesn't stop moving. She's a workhorse. And we knew that going in. Um, but we got to get, you know, clean up some things defensively so that we can limit her touches a little bit and limit her points. But she did a good job. She did what great players are supposed to do. Um, same thing with Bryce on our end. So um, credit to her and Jenny, the way that they use her. But we just have to be a little bit better tomorrow. Coach, there was a lot of noise coming out of that student section tonight. How nice was it to see uh, everyone come out and support the team? That was cool. That was cool. Um, you know, just to see the students out there and seeing them getting exciting, getting excited. Um, just seeing the rest of our fans. We had a good crowd. I haven't looked and seen. I don't even know the final on that, how many people came. But it was great that, you know, people could come and obviously wear their mask and stay safe and, and cheer us on. You know, that game, having that game at home was definitely an advantage because of our fans and we just appreciate them. They helped get us over the hump when we had some droughts and um, you know, Lady Bear Nation is just, they're one of the best in the country and I just appreciate them. what did you learn last week and what's kind of your, and what do you do until five o'clock tomorrow? I mean, it's gotta be just kind of, I don't know if you have to uh, stuff a lot of thing and in, stuff into your brain and everybody else's, but just kind of what's this look like for you? Watch the film. Um, we don't do too much with the players besides recovery um, with our strength and conditioning coach, you know, get them hydrated, get them, you know, food in them, things like that. Uh, watch the film, meet as a staff, come up with our game plan or if we want to change anything, you know, and we get on the court, walk through some things, do a recovery again. Recovery is really big. Um, some people played some a lot of minutes like Bryce, 37 minutes. So recovery is going to be huge for her. And then just get ready to play again. I mean, it's a quick turnaround. And the blessing is that we get to get under the lights again and play. Um, so we're just going to be thankful for that, be grateful for that opportunity, and come out and perform. Coach, looks like that was your last question. Congrats on a big win tonight. Thank you.